Good evening and welcome to the show that dares to lift the veil on the unknown, to confront our darkest fears. Are you ready to spend the night with Spencer Knights? My team on tonight's vexing vigil are Kev on roving camera. And returning to the show after a three year sabbatical, we have camera woman extraordinaire, Jo. Hi. And facing her nocturnal nightmares, tonight's celebrity fear facer, star of Dream Angels, Martha Clues. It's Martha with a V. Tonight, through the power of mind control technique, I will give our guest the will to face her deepest fear, fear of the dark. But unknown to Miss Clues, we're not taking her to just any dark place. We're taking her to one of Britain's most haunted locations. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Baylock's Folly. So remember folks, don't lose your cool. And be mind. Full. It's going to be a long night. Where is everyone? Don't know. We're supposed to meet the caretaker. So you've got your coverage sorted. Kudos. You ain't seen nothing yet. Someone's left us a tipple. <gasps> oh, hi, Clem. Jesus. Apologies. Must have nodded off. I sleep like the dead. Clem is the keeper of this isolated outpost. She's held the position for quite a while, so she knows a thing or two about its unsettling history. Oh. For your troubles. Much appreciated. I'll put it away for a special occasion. Over the years, there has been a plethora of phantom phenomena in the lower levels of this building. What isn't said is the foundations of this folly contain the remnants of a 15th century plague hospital. No, they the bubonic plague, or Black Death, was one of the worst diseases in history. Half of Europe's population was wiped out by it. A plague doctor who worked here, William Baylock, took it upon himself to ease the suffering of those in his care. It is said Baylock succumbed to the disease himself, losing his mind in the process. No, no, he didn't. Let's descend and see what lies in the bowels of this dark folly. Kev, okay, that's her head. Sorry. Jesus. It is said this diseased doctor still wanders the tunnels beyond this door, endlessly searching for victims to dispatch from their despair. But if his spirit comes across the living, well, it's a case of bring out your dead. Tonight, we will be completely cut off from the outside world to investigate the mysterious manifestations in this tunnel of terror. 
Guys back at the hub will put reverb on that. Awesome. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just not big on enclosed spaces. Good job you're not spending the night in an underground tunnel then. Kevin! Spooky. The beaked masks of plague doctors contained oils and herbs to filter what they thought was infected air. Maybe I should get one. Kev, here. Bizarrely, these guys would soak their garments in vinegar and rose water to keep the Black Death at bay. The wooden cane was carried to inspect patients. Legend has it, Baylock used this not only to examine the infected, but ultimately to choke them to death. There have been many reports of stick-like tapping echoing through these tunnels often followed by the muted screams of Baylock's victims. Some have even felt the sensation of something wooden slowly choking them. I'm used to that feeling. It's probably just rats. Yeah, rats with rhythm. Bloody hell, Spence. When was the last time you got these things serviced? Just keep documenting. We can't leave her like this for much longer. Nice work with the vinegar. What vinegar? <laughs> It's okay, Martha. I'm here. Where's here? This clues. You're in the haunted remains of a 15th century plague hospital, 60 feet below a remote tower, deep in the English countryside. Oh. And it's almost midnight. I'm being filmed. Joe! Oh. Miss Clues. Miss Clues. How do you feel? Um, I'm quite good, actually. Now that's the magic I'm talking about.
Some say this is the face of one of Balog's victims. If you look closely, it's screaming out in terror. Is this part of the therapy? Yeah, ruining it. Looks like a yawning camel to me. <laughs> Kev, that does not look like a camel. Or an alpaca? What the hell's an alpaca? It's a sort of llama. What, like the Dalai Lama? No, that's llama with one L. Alpacas are smaller than llamas, and they've actually got a much thicker coat, which is useful for... <sighs> the face is said to be that of a child. He killed children. To Balok, all souls were equal in the need for redemption. Which is another way of saying he was completely insane. How many people did Balok kill? Oh, hundreds. He said he finished off whole families. Must have seen it as his calling or something. What's he doing here, Spencer? Who do you think's been chucking these cameras and lights about the place? <sighs> nice to know we got a very own techno monkey on call. Nice to be appreciated. Took me all afternoon to install these puppies. Oh, I don't suppose you've been tapping any walls tonight either. Whatever makes you say that. <sighs> Thanks, Zan, for adding a touch of drama to tonight's proceedings. But just remember, in cyberspace, Everyone can hear you scream. That was bloody awful. It's my script, honey. Just stick with it, yeah? Well, if you keep churning bollocks like that, I, I won't. Remind me why I asked you back again. Uh, because I make you look good. Fair enough. Hands. William Baylock, show us your presence. William, please give us a demonstration of your power. Whispers silently giving release to God's children. No! The children suffering, all of them screaming, help, please help us. It's coming! Oh my God. Don't take stock of the tittle-tattle about this place having once been a plague hospital. That was on the edge of town. This place has a different story to tell. 
In truth, children were moved here to be kept safe, isolated from the Black Death. In these tunnels, under what was the old monastery, Baylock did see it upon himself to rid the town of the curse by dispatching the diseased. But not because he was infected himself. One night a fire broke out in the town. Everyone rushed to help, including the monks. But unknown to them, Baylock made his way down here. When the brothers returned, they found him surrounded by the lifeless bodies of 13 children, all with their windpipes crushed. He was said to be in the process of an incantation to invoke the spirits of darkness. You see, Baylor was what many people today would call a Satanist. He sacrificed victims as an offering to gain his own soul passage to a darker dimension. But whatever the good fathers did to him that night thwarted his plan. Soon after, the monastery was burned to the ground the folly was built in its place, leaving the souls of Baylock and his young victims trapped eternally beneath it. Some say Baylock's remains are here still. And hundreds of years after his death, he walks these catacombs in endless search of I just thought I'd put you straight on the reality of the situation. Remember, there is more in the darkness than you know. great. A real screamer. <sighs> 1 a.m. and the mindful team was split into two separate vigils. Intrepid newcomer Marva and myself in the first chamber, Joe and Zan at the far end. Kev will act as roving camera. But remember, whatever happens, don't give up the ghost. as many things, but at least he's got the, you know, touch to keep his own down. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Oh, please don't stop on my game. I'm just here to document. Don't kid yourself, Kev. This crap's about as far removed from a documentary as you can get. It's okay, Kev. Trash peddlers like us can only marvel in the presence of a real filmmaker like Joe. What films have you made again? Nothing that would register with your IQ. That famous friend of yours does. Martha, please. 
I've still got one of her Dream Angels calendars. Actually, I've got three years worth of them. December was always pretty hot. Why are you here, Zan? I was curious to see how you were doing after your film course. I wondered if you'd learned to grow up yet. Hey guys, remember it's Dark Vision, not Jerry Springer in a basement. Nice. <laughs> Now we know where to dump Spencer after I kill him. That's a bit harsh. Don't tell me you've fallen for his gold-plated spin as well, Kev. Actually, I've got quite a lot of respect for him. That's funny, so did I. Play with yourself again, Zan. It's the latest paranormal pocket product. A ghost hunting app? Awesome. You seriously think this thing's for real? It's got a mode for measuring fluctuations in room temperature. Oh, wow. It seems to have found a cold spot. <laughs> and my own personal favourite, ASA, the Ambient Spectral Analyzer. Which is? Well, the detection of sound beyond the mortal range of hearing. Voices from the astral plane. Two million people stop downloading. <coughs> it's okay. Come on, you're freezing. What happened? I'm not sure, but I was deep in a contact trance when Martini just lost it's it. It's Marva. Imagination. <laughs> She's in no state to continue with this. No shit. She'll be fine. Let's just get her some air and we'll... No. <laughs> Sounds right. She can't go on. It's okay. I just... I just needed to breathe. No. My necklace. Oh, you're shitting me. It must be around here somewhere. You're, you're freaking out about a piece of jewellery. It's special to me. I'll help you look for it, Jay. Hey, Kevin will help me find it. Okay. Uh, where do you think you're going? I'm taking her home. We've another four hours to get through yet. What? Look, I'll take her upstairs. I need to check on the streaming anyway. No, I'll take her. I'm taking her home. Well, then. Both of your fees for the evening will just have to stay in my bank account. Unless someone can take her place. You manipulative little sh- It's okay, Joe. I'll, I'll go with Zan. But... We need this, hun. Okay, 
See you later, yeah? So that's what you learnt at film school. To help avoid cold spots. Bet that pushes your hits up. It pushes something up. Please tell me you got that. Why was Joe so freaked out about losing a necklace? Um, maybe because it has sentimental value. It was just a cheap piece of old tap. Oh, right. No. It belonged to her sister, Corrine. Joe doesn't have a sister. Didn't Joe tell you? Tell me what? They were out for a drive when Joe stopped and got out to chat to a friend. And while they were talking, a drunk driver crashed into the car. And both cars caught fire. Kareem was drunk. When was this? Six years ago. Why didn't she tell me? Obviously, you were good enough to tell. I was the one Joe stopped to talk to. I think I need some Clem's little helper. So, how long have you two, you know? <laughs> We've been together for almost two years now. Wow, two years? That's... Longer than you had. I was gonna say <laughs> quite a while. I had no idea Joe was, you know. From what I hear, you were too busy checking out other girls to notice. Clearly I wasn't the only one. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't believe everything you hear. There are two sides to every story. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Hope you're refreshed and ready for round two, Miss Clues. I know you're in there. I'm not going back down there. It's okay, I'll tell him you're not ready. I'll huff and I'll puff. I'm not doing it. Marva! Ah, Miss Clues. I'm not doing it! What have you done to her? Carry on streaming, Zoom. wasn't coming back with the hits we've been getting the hub said that two teams have already been voted off that leaves us and just two more to beat you're not doing this joe will you just get with the program and start taking this thing seriously what my girlfriend's having a major meltdown and will probably never speak to me again for getting her into this bullshit and i'm the one not taking things seriously she'll be fine in the meantime we're down to the last three teams we've almost got our own series this is a big deal joe we need to win this 
OK, I need to win this. This goes tits up. My next stop's a shopping channel. So it's about you. You'll do anything to bolster that overinflated ego of yours, no matter who gets hurt along the way. Don't get superior on me. I know why you were fired from your last documentary. I wasn't fired, I quit. I... I need you, Joe. Look at what I've got to work with here. An app-obsessed nerd and a cameraman who's more used to delivering pizza than getting a shot in focus. No offence, Kev. Awesome. We're the same, Joe. Passionate. Hungry. And we'll do whatever it takes to get it in the can. I did that in my last job. I may not be perfect, Spencer, but I do have some standards left. Just took a wrong turn before I found them again. It's OK. I understand. At the end of the day, you've got to follow your heart. Even if that does mean hooking up with an ex-soap star to get back on top. I'll pass it on to Marva when we get home. Great. You tell Marva. Have you got a trigger word for everyone? Take her. What's mine? Awesome! What are you doing, Spence? Just a bit of theatre, Kev. It's just, you know, leaving Joe by herself. Believe me, she can handle it. Look, if we just give this thing one final kick, we'll hit big calf. OK. What do you want me to do? Well, we'll start by chucking a few stones and tapping the walls a bit before really scaring them shitless. How am I going to do that? There's a camera installed in the big. Awesome. Contact me if Joe gets out of hand. 
back at dawn. Inside the dead. Things I do for this show. Why can't I get this close to them when they're conscious? Spencer, is that you?
Marva. It's okay. But, Joe. of this building are transmitting the evil beneath. I've never experienced such a case of spectral banging in my life. I'm in awe at the bravery of the team in the tunnels below. I hope they're all right. Clem! Clem! Kev, hello. Kevin. Hello. I heard knocking. Shit! You look like you've seen a ghost, Mr. Knight. <gasps> Here. Oh. Mm. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. I've been better. Tell me, Clem, this um, devil worship thing. How can you be sure? 
I don't quite understand your meaning, Mr. Lights. I mean, Baylock. Was he really trying to open a doorway? Isn't what you've learned this evening dark enough? <sighs> Fairly. I was just curious. As I said, Baylock's victims were an offering to gain passage to the Shadow Realms. Thankfully, he was stopped before he could complete the incantation. Thank the gods. Hence, his spirit is in purgatory, trapped between this world and the ones beneath. Is that right? Well, I think he just popped up to say hello. <laughs> his shade may appear from time to time. In fact, I've seen it myself on several occasions. Most alarming. But I assure you, Mr. Knights, it can cause no harm to the living. How do you know so much about this stuff? <laughs> a PhD in witchcraft and the occult. One should never judge a book by its cover. Mr. Knights. Believe me, never before has one place been so plagued by the presence of evil. But so long as the ground below us remains hallowed, Baylock's spirit will remain safely trapped. Yeah. About that. I think there might be a little problem with the hallowed bit. I don't know what you're playing at, Spencer. But if you don't get me out of here right now, my agent's gonna... I don't have an agent anymore.
This kind of witchcraft is beyond the understanding of all but the most omniscient. Who taught you the incantation? Um, I was contacted by someone at the hub, I think. They sent me a text along with illustrations. Oh, God. I've forgotten. I don't know who it was. You have been manipulated, Mr. Knights. But that's impossible. I do the manipulating. Indeed. No. How can I have been so blind? What? Tonight is the eve of Mabon. The autumn equinox. On the occult calendar of old, it signifies a time when the barriers between this world and the ones beneath are at their most thin. What are you saying? I believe what has taken place tonight is a conjunction of factors adding to the master plan of whatever is behind this. But isn't it all just words? Just words? Maybe. But human sacrifices were also required to seal the deal, so to speak. And if that is what has occurred tonight, then... What have I done, Clem? It appears you've opened a doorway. To hell? That's one name for it. Whatever it's called, Mr. Knights, there could now be an evil far more powerful than the spirit of William Baylock walking beneath us. Believe me, Mr. Knights, the shadows are out there. Foul hoardlings of demon kind. Is that what we're dealing with? Possibly. Though the incantation you read points to something more specific. The name Cambion was given in the post-medieval period to anyone thought to be the semi-human offspring of a demon. The energy of a developing fetus is extremely powerful, an ideal source for the demon to feed off. In fact, the young in general, hence the high possession rates among them. But what 
we are dealing with here is quite the opposite. This is the possession of someone who is already dead. Even centuries after death, Balok's energy remains intensely powerful. I believe it is magnetic to the Cambion. By joining with Balok's spirit, a hybrid may be formed. Part phantom, part demon. That sounds like a pretty twisted mashup. Yes, quite. And if my theory is correct, the more souls this particular Cambion takes, the stronger it will become. You mean, the more alive? If it's absorbing the life force of the living, it could enter the physical world, Mr. Knights. Our world. <laughs> Responsible for unleashing this evil. What must I do, Clem? To recall the Cambion back to the depths, you must invoke the spirits of light. But I can't do this by myself. I beg you, Clem, please help me to stop this. I can't do it alone. I just can't face it. Man up! Fear feeds fear. Now, let's go down there. to you. I took the elevator. Uh, Obviously I've missed a few things. <laughs> you can tell me how you did this when we get out of here. In the meantime, I want you to meet someone.
crucified him. Yeah, that's not all they did. forces of evil are mocking us, Mr. Knights. We have reached the point where humankind ends and the beast begins. We must fight fire with fire. What does that mean? Terra ignis aqua. Elements of astral power, I summon thee. Earth by divinity, divinity by earth. Clem. Grant me the power to see the strength of my enemies by my side. By the dragon's light on this night. The power of three, I summon thee to protect all that surrounds me. So mote it be, so mote it be, so mote it be. I'm a pastor.
Crap out of me. Where's Joe? Look, look, we need to get out of here and I'm not screwing around, Kev.
Mario. I seek out against you, Cambion. I break your bond. May warlocks bewitch you. I break your bond. May Kukaras bewitch you. I break your bond. Go back, deceiving figure, go back! Mr. Knights. Ground. Is it? Hallowed. The evil is banished. We did it, Mr. Knights. We finished? Yes, Mr. Knights. You have completed your show. You okay? Yeah. Let's go.
feels a thousand years old In each place Lives are revealed The journeys you know Your heart stops So many voices I won't let go You're fighting the dark To escape the grasp Of these troubled souls Oh, oh, oh I can hear you calling In the dark, baby Oh, oh, oh I can hear you calling In the dark, baby Get back in the room.